first of all you should go to the link I provided with the video for downloading the installation program then choose uh, whichever version you want, the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version depending on what version of Windows you're using and then you can download the program then you should uh, launch the installation wizard um, it might say that your operating your operating system isn't supported but it should still work if you're using uh, XP or Vista or whatever once it's installed you should run the program. Again it might say that your operating system isn't supported but you can ignore that and uh, use the default settings to create a virtual machine. You can just um, give it a name and you can change the location if you want. And then it'll open up the settings you can choose how much RAM you want to give it and um, you'll probably want to create a want to create a hard disk virtual hard disk for the operating system and you can just choose a name and location for it Choose whether it's dynamically expanding or fixed size. Um, just I recommend you choose dynamically expanding. And then just browse to wherever the file is uh, stored and select it. Make sure you choose capture ISO image and then choose your um, uh, your ISO file that uh, for your Windows installation, or else you can use a disk. You probably need to restart it. And then um, Windows setup should be start automatically. And um, I'm not going to show how to install Windows here. Anyway, it's pretty straightforward if you haven't done it before. Although I suppose you probably have. Um, next thing you should do is install um, Virtual Machine Editions. And it should automatically run. Again, I'm not going to show you how to install it because it's fairly straightforward. And um, you can choose to have them um, because normally you have to press uh, right alt to um, get out of the virtual machine mouse, but you can choose to. Um, change that if you have virtual machine editions installed. You can also create a shared folder which means you can get an, a folder from your real computer to show up in your virtual machine and as you can see here it's, it, um, it shows up in my computer and you'll be able to access it and browse files